Eat some, baby. What's up with it? What's up with it, everybody? It's your boy RDR, and welcome back to RDR Food Reviews. And as you can see here, right in front of your face at the bottom of the screen today, that's right, your boy RD Rizzo is trying Wingstop new chicken sandwich. That's right, I'm doing a Wingstop chicken sandwich milk grain. So, as you can see, Wingstop is a little bit late to the chicken sandwich wars. <laughs> But, you know, regardless that the chicken sandwich wars is all over and everybody knows who's number one, people are still in the aftermath trying to get number two or three points or whatever. Now, these chicken sandwiches were test tested like probably a little bit earlier in the year or maybe a little bit late last year. And I was so, so wanting to try these sandwiches. And people were hitting me up saying, hey, man, you need to try the Wingstop chicken sandwiches. But they weren't here in Texas, but now they're here. And that's what we got here going today. If this is your first time coming to RDR Food Reviews, I'm your host, Roberto Del Rio. And this is RDR Food Reviews. I not only just do food reviews, I do mukbangs as well. So if you like what you see in this video, please hit that subscribe button at the bottom next to that notification bell so you can get the latest, greatest RDR Food Reviews. Also, don't forget to check your bar on Instagram, Roberto Del Rio 86. Let's get a quick moment of prayer. <clears throat> Father, bless this food I'm about to receive. Help this food nourish my body, make me strong as a person, strong as a man. And bless this or grow hungry as a prayer. Please follow something in your holy grace. My name we pray. Amen. Love you, Father. All right, no. So, we're here. So, yeah, so what I got here, I didn't get the original. I wanted to get two of my favorite flavors because you can get these chicken sandwiches any flavor that they got on the menu from the hot, from the atomic, all the way down to just the plain. I got my favorite Korean barbecue, I think it's over here. And I got the hickory smoke barbecue over here. And cut it. Let me give you a little close up. Of what these bad boys look they're fairly small which is fine and they're on these brioche buns with the look at that got these pickles on here nice brioche bun right here flip the top a little pickle action right there a couple of them up there and it's all stuffed to perfection so oh this will be a good See, when I had no money, I still had sauce. Mm -hmm. If you don't got no sauce, then you lost. Mm -hmm. That might be right. We'll figure out thumbnail later. Either or, prep away. Let's get in. I just got some cheese sauce over here. And I got some of their fries, which <laughs> I don't know why Wingstop gets hell for fries. The people be tripping about their fries. They don't like them. Which is fine. I like them. You know what I mean? They're okay for me. So. Damn, son, where'd you find this? Daddy, chill. Quick thumb now. All right, Cuddy. Let's see what these are all about, okay? Uh, without further ado, Cuddy, this is the Wingstop Chicken Sandwich. Here, RDR Food Reviews. Cuddy, this sucker is so freaking good. <laughs> 21. Mm. You know what's this, this thing? Fairly different apart from most of the others. Cuddy, the, the, the sauce, the sauces that Wingstop have are undeniably better than any other wing place there is. Straight up. Get some of these fries. What do you mean by that? I need a little bit watery. And watery ass ranch. Yeah. Their, their sauces taste great. You know what I mean? I was eating this secret smoking one. I was thinking to myself. The chicken, the, the, the filet by itself is basic. The brioche bun is awesome. You know what I'm saying? It's standard. I like the buns that looks like this. That are nice and shiny and glazed or whatever. Kind of almost close to egg bun. But, um, yeah. It's just the, the flavors. I had to get the saucy ones because I was very tempted to go for lemon pepper. <laughs> but I'm glad I didn't. Because this barbecue one is hitting me. Yes, sir. 
549. Put more in. Which is kind of in the realm of fairly priced for chicken sandwich. You know what I'm saying? For other places, unless you're Uncle Popeyes out here. Let's see how we deal with some, chicken, some cheese on there, son. You know how it is. Put some cheese on there, baby. Monster combo! Crazy. Man. Your boy. <laughs> had to get the hell up out of Wingstop, bro. Let me refresh myself real quick. Refresh. I had to get out of Wingstop. I did a mobile order. And I was like, oh, you know, I only got like 16 minutes. So I had to hurry up and like, you know, go get my stuff and bring it back to the crib. Shooking them. I, I, I don't know what the, the, the early crew got, like a bunch of old people in it. Which I'm going to circle back to the old part later on the video. So I get there, my food wasn't even ready. But on the app, it said like 16 minutes. And I gave him a good 16 minutes. Went, took a shower, came back. And it still wasn't ready. Your boy, <laughs> this is going to be crazy. Your boy parked in, uh, you know, because I was doing a speed one. You know what I'm saying? I was trying to get in and give out, you know? So your boy waiting, you know, for his food. When I pulled up, you know, there wasn't nobody around. So I parked in the handicap spot. Yeah, I parked in that hole, but not just anyone, the one with the van. I know. 5 0 John Gibby, sue me later. Either or, I didn't I didn't expect to be in there just for a quick bit, you know what I mean? Crazy thing ever happened, Cuddy. Remember, it's getting close to lunchtime. Three laws walked up in that hole. <laughs> and not just walked up in there, them niggas came in that bitch strapped, nigga. You know how laws are when they lunch break. And these wouldn't like no any kind of laws. These type of laws, you know what I'm saying? They wasn't in suits. These fools was in like, these boys look like detectives. Might as well say this is a short story time. Yeah, these niggas look like detectives. Three of these niggas. And they was a souped up, stabler looking ass niggas. Mugging the shit at your boy, cause you know me. If y'all should know me now, your boy wear black like almost every single day, right? So I automatically looking suspect in that hoe with my ticket, sweating, got my drink over here. Like, come on, bitch, hurry up with the order. Cause your boy, <laughs> I don't know how these niggas did not see that this slab was sitting in a handicapped van parking lot, the uh, parking spot. I ain't ordering nigga, and I'm just like sweating nigga. They giving off the non-contact vibe. These niggas over here holding their um pistols and stuff like that, you know, surveying and stuff. One even nigga, I don't know who he was. Let's call that nigga Martinez, cause that that nigga was messing in the hole. That nigga was like looking over and stuff, and he's trying to act like he wasn't looking at me, but that nigga was holding the grip like, bruh, you're not gonna shoot me today, nigga. That nigga was looking at your boy like, yeah, I wish this nigga would try to rob when he stopped. <laughs> yeah, ho. Anywho, so I'm over here still waiting, and I look at the door again, and I'm scoping in the back, like, when they gonna hurry up with the bag? This is supposed to be 16 minutes. It's 25 minutes later. Three more of these niggas hooked up in here. But these fools was in uniform. I was like, nigga, you about to get a ticket like a hoe. Gonna get a big ass ticket. When my order hit that shelf, nigga, I dashed at that hoe. Crazy thing ever happened, Cuddy, when I'm walking up to my car, 
Three more of these <laughs> niggas was in pods, nigga. Three more of these niggas was coming up, right? So, by the time when I'm walking up to my car, I try, I walk right past my car with the bags. <laughs> and boy, just in case, and one of them was on the phone. So when I walked past that hoe, I was making seem like, hey, nigga, this ain't my car, nigga. I was walking like I was going to go on the other side of this blue truck. And waited for them niggas to go inside, nigga. I dashed in that hoe, nigga. I put my stuff in the back seat, nigga, and I got the up out of there. Yeah. 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 I'm just being honest. Crazy, nigga. Yeah. Crazy how that happens, bro. I picked the wrong time to go to Wingstop. The wrong time. Man, that cheese sauce is like... Awesome. I'm going to have to put this watery-ass ranch away because, man, it's giving me bad vibes for real, for real. And what I think I'm going to do, I'm going to do a real thing. Uh, I'm going to put some of this cheese sauce. Go on. Give me some hot fries. Give me some cheese fries going on. Hey, yo. Uh, it's been a minute since I did a chili cheese fry. Uh, look, bang. It's been a minute since I did one. Uh, Y'all know the vibes. Delicious. That was a great move right there, audio. All right, man. Just off thought, if you on for the for my my mafia members, I want to know like on an alphabetical scale. And just like a clear rating about the chicken sandwich. In my mind, honestly, cutting, I, I would give this, honestly, I would give this a solid B. This is a B for a sandwich. The the bun, like I said, the bun is your standard brioche bun. The pickles don't really have something that really separates the rest. It's more like pickles you kind of get from a jar. But the thing that gives it a B is the flavor, the sauce of the flavor. I don't think that if you get a plain one that it, it would really turn you like on, on. Um... But I will say that if it was plain, I bet you that the plain version tastes much better than the McDonald's chicken sandwich because that whole desert drop. But uh, it's very good flavorful chicken. But right here, Cuddy, is the spicy Korean Q. Let me tell y'all this. When I go to Wingstop, my favorite wings are the spicy Korean Q. I don't think there's a flavor in any wings place that has a better flavor than spicy Korean Q. Uh, it's like electric. And this is my favorite one. So I'm super excited about this one right here. Fuck no! <laughs> oh, damn it, this one. Daddy, chill. I'm about to get slutty on this home. If you ain't never put Korean barbecue mixed with some cheese, nigga, you don't know what the fuck you doing in these streets, nigga. Look at that. Slut action. Help! Somebody! Anybody? Hey, my boy Alex did, man. She's such a dirty girl, nigga. She's a DG. Oh my god. That's not proof. It's still debatable. But it's a good piece of evidence. Oh no. I had a slut moment for real. Hold on, let me refresh myself. I'm getting out of pocket. Hold on. Oh, hi. Thanks for checking in. I'm still a piece of garbage. <clears throat> Got outside myself. Excuse me. Excuse me. Yeah, speaking of... Oh. Very young kids. God damn, is it Jumanji in this house? Where the hell these fruit flies coming from? Disregard technical error. The motherfucker better not come down here. Yeah. You ever hear of young kids, 15, 17, whatever, 18 years old, talk about 
they getting old. Man, I was at work. And of course, you know, I, I mess with, you know, residents, young kids or whatever. Like I work with young, young, young trouble youths or whatever. Point of the matter is this. We was working out in the gym. This nigga here, Cuddy dude was, was like stretching for a gym. And he started talking about how he feels like he's like, oh man, my knees, they just, man, they just bad. Mr. Bad, sir. He's like, gosh. I'm getting old, sir. And I just looked at him like, bruh. They grow you as an infant. You're a toddler in these streets. I said, man, if you ever, this is how you know you getting old. If you do a squat and your knees sound like a rustling uh, lace potato chip bag, that's when you know you getting old. <laughs> you got a lot more miles to go, my sir. They not not so long in the day. Some of my friends, older friends, I walked in on a conversation about two old people talking about dang, you know, one person was talking about that, you know, oh man, they're about to be 60, and they was like, man, I'm really getting old. And the other person that's like 50 talking about, man, you're not old, you got a lot more time left. And I'm just like, let me go call my mama. <laughs> yes, sir. Because <laughs> my mama about to be almost 70. I'm like, nigga, I got to go call my mama. Hold up. This is crazy. So I asked you, how old is really old? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> how old is really old? And then again, I guess it do depend on how you feel. But if you young, Cuddy, you ain't got no jurisdiction to be talking about you. Oh, man. Come on. A lot more tread on them tires. Good morning, niggas. Mm. Shout out. Cowboy Nation out there. I see you, baby. I don't give a damn how injured we are. We still going to the Super Bowl? <laughs> Bitch. Don't give a damn. We're going for the chip. They can hate us. They can disgrace us. But we still them boys, baby. I know I'm gonna get a lot of flack from my uh subscribers that are Eagle friend fans and Washington Commander fans looking at <laughs> Cares. Anyway, salute. Can't wait for the NFL season to kick off. These fries got your boy full. Man, hold on. Yeah, man. I think it's all it be is good enough for the Wingstop Wings. I mean, uh, chicken sandwich. Brand new, nationwide. Definitely check it out and see how you like it. You know what I'm saying? Highly recommend get the Korean Q. As you saw, it took me to another world. Um, but that being said, Cuddy, let's try to close the bad boy out. It's good to see you guys again. Let's get it going. <laughs> Ultra refresh. I'm drunk, I'm drunk, I'm drunk. That, everybody, is my Wingstop chicken sandwich mukbang video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's your boy RDR and like I always say, man, hey look, food is a gift. So please give thanks. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also don't forget to hit that like button. If you don't like this video, you really don't like my content, go on and hit it with a thumbs down. It don't matter. I'm going to love it like I always have. It's your boy RD Rizzle. I'm signing up out of here. God bless y'all. Take care. Already. I love you guys and I'm going to see y'all soon. God bless y'all and good night.